you probably know that the best way to add length to your sentences is by adding detail. But how do you go about adding details and keep your sentences grammatically correct? Today, I'm going to share with you three ways to write longer sentences. The first way to lengthen your sentence is to add a prepositional phrase or maybe two or three prepositional phrases. Prepositions are words like above, along, around, at, before, beside, under, upon, with, and so on. Prepositional phrases begin with the preposition and they can be added to a sentence without using commas. Here's an example. On Monday afternoon, the preposition is on. Monday afternoon tells the position or the orientation. Here are some more prepositional phrases. Out of his seat, around the house, behind the curtain, in the street, near the door, with my best friend. Now look at this sentence, the dog chased the cat needs to be longer, add some more detail. So, let's add a couple of prepositional phrases. The dog, down the street, chased the cat around the corner. Down and around are the prepositions. This helps the reader to picture the sentence in his or her mind way better than just the original sentence, the dog chased the cat. Here's another. The boy ate his lunch. Well, which boy? What did he have for lunch? Let's add some prepositional phrases. The boy in the blue shirt ate his lunch of macaroni and cheese and a sandwich. Remember, when you add a prepositional phrase to a sentence, there's no need to use any commas. Just add the phrase. The second way to make your sentences longer is to add an appositive. And a positive is a noun phrase that renames a noun in the sentence, either preceding that noun or coming after that noun. Here's an example sentence. The dog followed them home. Let's add in a positive. The dog, a purebred poodle, followed them home. It really helps you picture what's going on in the sentence a lot better, doesn't it? A purebred poodle is an example of an appositive that renames dog. And notice that appositives are set off with commas. Here's another example. The meal was her favorite breakfast. Not a lot of detail here. Let's add in a positive. The meal, steak and eggs, was her favorite breakfast. More detail with that added a positive. And one more example. The woman was an accomplished surgeon. Hmm, which woman? Let's add in a positive. The woman, Dr. Finnegan, was an accomplished surgeon. The third way that you can write longer sentences is to add a subordinate clause. A subordinate clause is also known as a dependent clause. These are clauses that are dependent on other information to make a sentence complete. Here are a few subordinating conjunctions. After, if, if then, rather, supposing, whether, whenever, and my favorite, because. Subordinating conjunctions, when added to a short sentence, require the writer to add more information to make that sentence complete. Let's take a look at how this works. Here's a short sentence. Delia went to the store. I'm going to add a subordinating conjunction, my favorite, because and you'll see how I now have to add more details in order to make my sentence longer. Delia went to the store because. Because why? Okay, let's finish that subordinating clause. Delia went to the store because she needed to buy groceries. And because the subordinating clause comes at the end of the sentence, there's no need to use any commas. Here's another example. Micah sat on the bus and waited. 
let's add a subordinating conjunction and you'll see how you're going to be required to add more information to that sentence in order to complete the thought. Micah sat on the bus and waited until. Hmm, can't just leave it at that. So let's finish the subordinate clause and you'll see how this adds more detail to your sentence and makes it longer. Micah sat on the bus and waited until the bus got to his stop. Now the nice thing about these three different techniques for making your sentences longer is that you can combine them to make even longer sentences. Let's take a look at a couple of examples. Now this is color coded to help you figure out just what is what. The yellow is the positive, the blue is a prepositional phrase, and the green is the subordinate clause. Let's go back to our sentence about Delia. Delia went to the store. Let's add more information in the form of a positive's prepositional phrases and subordinate clauses. Delia, my next door neighbor, went to the store on Monday afternoon because she needed to buy groceries. My next door neighbor tells you more about Delia, renames her. On Monday afternoon tells you when, so that's a prepositional phrase, and because she needed to buy groceries, ends up telling you why. So you can see that by combining these techniques, you can get even longer sentences. One more example. Micah sat on the bus and waited. Let's add in a positive, a subordinate clause, and a couple of prepositional phrases. Micah, a fourth grader, sat on the bus and waited until the bus got to his stop before getting up out of his seat. See how adding these grammatical constructions can make your sentences longer. If this video lesson was helpful to you, please consider watching my video on how to add more details to your writing. That video shows you how to write longer paragraphs.